Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Kit Lab and this is called Sneaker Peak, the latest series right here. I'm with my man Lawrence. Lawrence, what's good bro? What's good, okay? You good bro? I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Right, let's get to it. Today is all about the Air Jordan 1 and in particular, the new release, The Flight. One, one. I've been anticipating these for a minute. Let's get to this. Well, we're ready. All there right. it is. Boom. What are you saying? You know what? They're right, man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, they could drop. Yeah, maybe. Beaters, but mm, resells gonna flop, bro. Listen, a fly knit bread one is not a bad thing, in my opinion. It's, 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 a, it's a new thing on a classic. Classic could be always better. The band one. Wait, explain band one for me. Uh, so originally, I think in the NBA, it was only white trainers. Obviously Jordan wanted to maybe break the mold and Nike wanted to do their thing. So he was not allowed to play in them, but Nike agreed to pay the fine and he carried on playing. So that is the, it is the bread one. It's also the band one, because he was basically banned from wearing them. But still did. I think I believe it was either fifty-four thousand pounds a game to wear it, and Nike swallowed that, and they've not looked back. That's a madness. So the bread one, the band one, is now the flying it one, and, it's, it's... and you're not feeling it. But they've still got they've still got leather trim. Like the swoosh is still leather. You've got the wing logo at the top still leather. There's a bit of leather on the interior. I, I, I tried it on earlier. It's it's comfortable. You can maybe play in it. It, it doesn't compare to the original. The resale is going to be tricky. They're probably going to hit outlets. That's a harsh oh, statement. <laughs> I mean, look, 1985, obviously, they dropped originally. It's now 2017. There's been a few additions to the Air Jordan 1 over that course yeah, of the time. Yeah. Things have got to move on. Yeah. That's what I mean. So, having something that's a bit more lightweight, a bit more breathable, but still replicates the same shape, surely. Isn't a bad thing. We'll see. We'll see. It was it was anticipated. A lot of people were talking about it. Mm. I think there's so many Nike releases at the moment. The Off White is soon. Mm. The 97 Skeptors were last week. Made bad timing, maybe. But I think just looking at it on foot, it's, it's, it's not great. It's not great. Hot or not, I need your official rating. You can buy it to beat it, but you please don't buy it and sit on it and think they're going to be five bills get the refunds and wait for the sales. So be that guy that actually rocks on foot and goes, yeah, I've yeah, got like to these. wear it. Comfortable, breathable, definitely an advancement there, but you're not gonna, you're not gonna be um, taking over the resale game if you've bought a few of these because they're still in stock. And that's a, that's a slip. Guess what? I'm gonna get one this, I'm gonna get, Yeah, I still want it, I'm not gonna lie, I still want it. In I fact, can see them on you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I've, I've got a few knitted pairs of trainers and stuff and I, I kinda like them, so yeah. I might just have to come to you and just cool. right. take this pair right I'll give here. You, I'll, I'll do you a discount. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> cool, that's episode one wrapped up. If you wanna find out more about these crepes and many, many more, as you can see, a few, make sure you check out Lawrence, AKA Crepe Select. The Instagram will be here. I'm AK, that's Lawrence, this is the Kit Lab, peace.